Hey Scorpio, welcome to your monthly tarot love messages here. These messages are going to be general guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So um, we'll give the cards a shuffle and see what they predict for you this coming month here. Um, these messages are intended for Scorpio Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. Okay. Okay, um, interesting here. First and foremost, I feel like this month here, there will be some silent treatment. I'm not sure if you're the one that's going to be dishing out this silent treatment or if you're on the receiving end of it, okay? I feel like someone here might go Casper on you, okay? Someone he might ghost you or someone here who has ghosted you recently. It's very unlikely that you will hear from this individual this month here. Um, this could also indicate that there may be a need for you to, or maybe you're just going to feel very emotionally reserved more so than before um just very close stuff a very withdrawn kind of energy and this could be just due to reasons that you can't explain it could also due to, due to it could be due to pl planetary alignments it could be due to this anxiety or this you know uh maybe this i'm picking up depressive mental state for some of you okay so some of you you're just not in the right headspace and you don't really feel like talking or uh, communicating with a lot of people so i see you being a little bit closed off um, or a little bit shut down here um you're in two minds about something or someone here okay there's a lot of duality here for some of you maybe you're dealing with a third party situation and you have to make up your mind you know um you have to make a choice here whether you continue with this um affair or whether you you know pull the plug on it um You'll also be receiving, receiving a lot of dreams here. I am seeing that there's a lot of messages your subconscious is going to be communicating to you. But I see it coming through dreams because the moon card talks about illusions here. So for some of you, it's like someone you're not talking to someone here or someone here isn't talking to you. I feel like this person has blocked your energies or they might have ghosted you. They might have just blocked your, um, you, like you, the two of you are blocked on like social media platforms. You might have blocked each other here. But I feel like you will still get, you will get dreams of them, okay? You will dream of them. And I feel like that person, that you may have blocked this person, but I feel like maybe that person is wanting to communicate to you on a dream level. Or it's very likely that someone who, whom you're very close with, like a very close connecting romantic energy, even though, you know, this person might have blocked you, you might be visiting them in their dreams. It feels very powerful, feels very intense, but look out for any dreams or synchronicities because I feel like this, um, I feel like the subconscious message is there. There really is. Um, so someone here, I feel like is very closed off or is very guarded here. Um, if you're expecting to hear communication from someone, I don't feel like it's happening this month. I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of progress here. I feel like it's a very stagnated kind of energy. For a lot of you, this is a stuckness. Some of you feel stuck in all areas of your life. Some of you feel like a relationship is really stagnated. Like it's, um, some of you feel like you're in quicksand here and you're drowning. There's this like, there's a stuckness here. The moon card also speaks to me about closure. So there's a situation here that Scorpio, I feel for some of you, this situation is ending or it has ended, but there's a need for you to bring in closures because a part of you, because you don't have that closure, a part of you is open to keep sort of living out the fantasies of this illusion uh, of this uh relationship like the fantasies of what could have been or the fantasies of what may still be okay something he has ended but i feel like either you're the one that's refusing to let it go or this person is refusing it to let it go simply because through a lack of closure so there's a need for you to draw on your own closure or there's a need for you to you know communicate with this person so you can have the closure that you need to move forward I'm seeing a very cold energy here and I feel like there is someone here who's going to be acting very cold and distanced towards you. It may be something that this person is going through, okay? I feel like th there's this person is affected in different areas of their life. Like they may be experiencing some financial problems um, and therefore those 
financial problems may resurface. It could be your energy as well, so take it as it resonates. Those financial problems could resurface and, uh, sorry, they could resurface mem like memories or feelings of inadequacies or insecurities, and therefore you'll find that this person stops talking to you purely because they don't feel like they can, you know, they can take care of you or be the partner that you need, or they don't feel like they deserve you here, or they feel a little bit emasculated. Like there's someone he call turns cold or distant. Um, but purely it's because this person is dealing with something and they don't know how to process it. They don't know how to handle it. So their go-to mechanism is, I'm just going to shut down. I'm going to pull back and I'm going to withdraw. And I'm just going to hope that everything figures itself out. You've got the lover's card. There's a very strong romantic energy here in the air for some of you. Um, you could find yourself falling in love this month. Or you could find that those feelings of love and passion and infatuation are being very heightened this month. Okay, You may feel this connection even on a much more stronger level than you emotionally do. You may feel like, like you're more closely connected to this person than ever before. It could have something to do with the intensity of these dreams that you're having, or it could have something to do with the memories that are resurfacing here. It could also have something to do with the illusions, okay? For some of you, I feel like there's an energy, as I said, there's an energy that you're still holding on to, even though this you know person may not be talking to you, or you feel as though it's nearing and inching towards the expiration date, a part of you is holding on to the fantasy of something here, and what, what that's doing essentially is it's heightening your emotions for this person. I see a collaboration happening, um, for some of you, you could be collaborating with um, you could be collaborating on an idea of some sort with a romantic partner. It could be in terms of creativity. It could be in terms of business here. Um, you could be working on some sort of project. For some of you, I feel like you could be meeting someone through the workplace with the Three of Pentacles. Some of you, I feel like there is a third party situation here in your energies, actually. Some of you, I feel like maybe you're not aware that... Some of you, you are aware that you're in a third party situation and you're attached to... You, you have feelings for someone or you love someone who is committed to some, someone else, okay? There's a strong sense of, yeah, some of you I feel like you're going to, it's almost like, I don't know if you're going to go ahead with it, but I see someone either suggests couples therapy, couples counseling to you, or you're the one that's going to be suggesting it to them here, okay? Because it's almost like you're trying to hold on to, you know, anything to make this work. Um, the, I feel like... For some of you, and it's not necessarily playing games, but you need to hold back communication from someone purely because this person doesn't value your words or what you say. And I feel like you really need to sort of uh, step away from this person to sort of give them time to think. And, you know, um, hopefully that will enable them to appreciate you a little bit more. Um, for others of you, I feel like, yeah, this is someone who's pulled away or who's not communicating, to, um, who's not communicating with you. But I get a sense that you're hurt by this. You're hurt by the lack of words or the lack of communication here. Um, something I feel like for you this month might come apart and then it might come back together again. And maybe there's a reason why it's coming apart because it can be it can come together even strongly. For others of you, I feel like there is some there's a relationship that's manifesting. Okay, you might meet someone in the workplace or there is someone new that is coming towards you. You could be manifesting this person here, so they may not enter your life this month. But you could very well be uh, manifesting this person, okay, and bringing them into your life in the next coming months here. Um, I get a very withdrawn and a very closed off energy, and it could be you, Scorpio. As I've mentioned at the start, you could be the one that's going into hermit mode. And you may need it, Scorpio. You may need to just, you know, get away from the world and get away from everyone and just spend some time on your own. Um, you know, sit alone with your thoughts and your feelings. For others of you, maybe you just need to do some thinking before you actually reach out and communicate with this person or before you unblock them and you're ready to talk, you might need to do some thinking process, you know, what it is that you want to say or really think about, you know, if there's any, like if there's, how do I say this? Really think about whether what you say will make any difference, okay? Or whether this is something that is going around in circles and in cycles here. Okay, because for, for a lot of you, I feel like there's something here that's ending. Let it end. And some of you, I feel like maybe you're clutching on or, you know, you're, you're hoping that you're resisting it. You're hoping it won't end. I feel like if something here is ending for you, let it end because I feel like the universe here has something bigger and better in store for you. But you won't see it because you're too um, fixated on holding on to this very thing that is expiring for you here. 
All right, guys, and these are your messages this month. Thank you, as always, for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.